hope you're doing great. Uh, now, um, today I have uh, a magnetron here. Uh, it's one of the parts that uh, puts up together a microwave, and it's an essential part in the microwave. Now, the microwave has got uh, various essential parts that uh, make it up to it to work. And uh, in that, we have got the capacitor, ooh, high, uh, we have high voltage capacitor, and then we have got uh, a diode, uh, which is also uh, a high volt uh, uh, diode. And then uh, we have this magnetron here. So m uh, generally, these are the most components that uh, you know uh, call for change uh, inside uh, uh, a microwave. So today, uh, in the microwave silly, we want to look at uh, this magnetron. Now, this magnetron, it's uh, the component that do the warming of, of your, your, your food. Mm, you see, uh, it has got two magnets inside. And uh, we have uh, a terminal here, two terminals where uh, the supply, you know, connects <coughs> for high volt purpose. Um, it also has uh, these things. These are things. Uh, uh, the microwave itself has got a fan, so these are things that help in the cooling of this stuff because. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, most of the time it gets too hot now let me show you how to test uh, uh, a magnetron now we really have uh, uh, many ways of testing it but now we are going to use a uh, multimeter to yield this test now first let me <coughs> tell you uh, one thing now f f when testing this uh, using your multimeter uh, and putting it in ohm So using your multimeter, you will have, uh, first of all, a good magnetron will not short with the body. That's the first thing. A good magnetron will not short with the body, and a bad magnetron will short with the body. So the, f uh, the first thing we're going to do is to test across uh, the, these two terminals. Now, what you need to do is uh, to turn on your... Turn on your, your multimeter, and uh, I, I know they are very much different uh, uh, meters, but uh, you have to set your meters uh, here, where you see ohm, uh, semiconductors, and the continuity they have put for your diode here, ohm, and, uh, <coughs> and a sign of a capacitor. So, we should get uh, the values around one. Uh, that should uh, simply tell us that uh, our magnetron is fine. Hope you're able to see. So we have to connect our probes and uh, see what happens. So you get nearly there. If you get zero, zero, it's still fine. And uh, uh, point 0.1. So other tests could give you around one uh, less. So it could give you one below. So most times if the number goes uh, higher than that, then it could be simply uh, mean that you, your stuff is faulty already. Yes, so it has to give you around that. So it plays around that uh, point one, point two, point three, around there. So everything is uh, fine with this capacitor, but I mean with this magnetron. But now you still have to do uh, some test with the body because even a faulty uh, magnetron can also give the same test. A faulty one can also give you some. If you only do that, then it can mislead you. Now, uh, you want to put your multimeter in the continuity, like that. And then, when you shot your probes, it will give you that sound. 
and then that means that you are in continuity. So you need to test between that and the body and you, you, you don't need to get a reading. No, so test the other one. You don't have to get a reading. So if, uh, <coughs> if it was faulty, you would definitely get a reading between uh, these terminals and the casing and the body. But if you don't have any there, but you must remember that uh, if you're testing between these two terminals, you could still get the same results for the photo one and for good one. Okay, thank you very much uh, for, for watching. It has been a short video, but the next video we will show you how to test a, a capacitor and a diode. Have a good one and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.